And we're back with another episode of Cult Classic Neo. I'm your host, Michael T. Shamborn III. And we're still playing Titan Quest Anniversary Edition on this fine, I believe, Tuesday is when this is going to release. So that's what we're going to say. I hope all of you have been doing well since we last hung out. We're still out here in the wilds of Laconia, picking up and looting things. I'm about to go back into the cave where you saw me before, but I also wanted to wreck this camp. I keep wanting to call these things orts, but they're satyrs or satyrs or however you pronounce that word because I don't really know. But we're going to take this cracked club, I'm going to tell you that. Ooh, right in his face. Hold on, before we get crazy here, let's pick up the stuff that'll let us pick up. So now I'm disappointed that I need to go back to where the shaman was because a bunch of stuff dropped there that I did not pick up and I'm terrified that something I missed, that I may have missed something great. But I, Oh, you know what I forgot? I can also do a wheel now. We definitely want to take advantage of that before. Just let's kill everyone here first before we try to do that. And then we'll find the strongest weapon out of the things we've looted and then we will have ourselves a good time. Yeah, I'm loving this one-hit kill stuff, man. Get in there. Ugh. I know he's a little stronger than the rest of them. Look, Archer, man. The interesting thing, too, is these guys really aren't doing that much damage to me at all. It's very interesting to me. So I imagine yellow means it's more important than white. Nah, I can't hold anymore. Let's go to the inventory. See what we've picked up that I can put to use. Is this armor better than the armor I have? Negative, it's not. Not at all. 16 to 19. 6 to 8, 5 to 16, 6 to 17, anything better? The 6 to 19 seems to be the best of what we're going to get here. Oh, delicious. Let me just drop that shield because we don't need it. I really want this dude to get some pants though, man. Can we get some pants? That's all I'm asking for is a couple pairs of pants. Nothing too crazy. Let's head on back to uh, Dr. Spock. Whatever his name is that's selling us all this stuff with my two clubs in hand. <laughs> Looks like he's running with two wine bottles, like trying to get to the party. Anyway, going back to what we discussed last episode, at least we started discussing this idea that I've never finished uh, Morrowind. Now, I finished Oblivion. I finished Skyrim. Those are the three Elder Scrolls I've played. I'm actually curious to see what the next Elder Scrolls is going to be. Like, that intrigues me quite a bit. Like, what are they going to do with the next Elder Scrolls? Do we have any idea what's coming next? And I don't know that we do, to be perfectly honest with you. You know, they're still working on online. I know that. Still releasing content for that. But Fallout 4 wasn't that long ago. And then Doom was kind of the focus. I just wonder, man. Actually, I need to... Uh, yeah, I need to equip these and then sell these. I wonder, can you double click to sell? Can you right? Yes, you can right click to sell. How delicious is that? Empathetic design, ladies and gentlemen. Very much a fan. Let's keep. So I, I as crazy as this may sound, I really enjoy this idea of going out, getting more loot, making more money. Matter of fact, how much money have I made doing this? Not much. But hopefully enough to get some pants. It's like I'm trying to remember what RPG I was playing where I was praying. Like I was trying to get a specific item. It may have been Fallout 4 with the uh, with the plasma rifle. And then when I finally got one, it was this huge celebration. Because the game was so stingy in giving them out. Uh, which rightfully so. It's an extremely powerful weapon. But I just thought that it was hilarious. By the time I got one, it was like a celebration on the... You know, <laughs> me playing the game. I, I couldn't believe it. Like, we got one, man. We won. It's a Super Bowl. Yeah. Like, can we jump off this cliff? No. Ah, harpies, yo. Harpies. Good. Diversity of things to kill in this particular game. So, anyway. Yeah, Elder Scrolls Morrowind. I, I just can't do it, man. It derails into a horrible, what I call a fetch quest simulator now the game is the game itself is not horrible but it does have a horrible fetch quest simulator feel to it and that just it was a deal breaker for me i just could not wrap my brain around how does anyone continue playing like it's literally just go here and tell this guy that okay you did that now go here and tell this other dude this 
And it's like, I'm so tired of going places and telling people things. And interestingly enough, that's really Bethesda RPGs in a nutshell, man. Like they just require so much. Go here and tell this person this. Like I remember playing Fallout 4 when you finally make it to a specific place. I won't spoil it for you because it's very much part of the plot. But you make it to this place that you've been you've been hearing about for a very long time and you finally get there and you're thinking oh this is going to be dope I'm going to get cool quests cool gear I'm going to learn more about the story and what's going on with the people that I've been looking for and then it's like oh go talk to Dr. Bashir yes deep Star Trek Deep Space Nine reference for the win like go talk to Dr. Bashir and tell him I need some new shears for the barbershop yes there's a barbershop in Fallout 4 I'm not making that up Ma- making that up oh Are you from Dr. Bashir's office? Excellent. Please go out into the fields and cut down three trees of pimpermint. Like, look, dudes, please, can we just blow something up? And so this particular location, I had a, uh, I think I had used a cheat code to get a bunch of the little mini nukes. (laughs) And I just lit that, like, enemies came out of the woodwork because I lit the place up. It was hilarious to me. I don't think anybody else found it particularly funny, specifically not the people at the the place where I was shooting everybody in the face. It was hilarious to me. I don't don't know what they were thinking. (laughs) Getting me involved, will ya? But yeah, it's just, I don't know. Something about Bethesda RPGs just doesn't, ugh. Doesn't hit that sweet spot. Okay. How much money am I short? Like 70 bucks. How how much of a kick in the nuts is that? 70 bucks short because I want this armor here, man. It looks sexy. And I'm hoping it has pants with it. Until next time. I just want pants, man. I don't want to run around in a dress. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with a dude that wants to run around in a dress. I was a Roman legionnaire in a play once. I get it. Dresses are very comfortable. I, it was funny. I was doing that play. So I was one of the guys that had to beat up Jesus in an Easter play. And the guy playing Jesus was this 50-year-old dude. And uh, which, you know, back at that time was like, he's an old man. Like it's, Now I hear people are 50. It's like, okay, that's cool. <laughs> how you doing? Even though I'm nowhere near 50, it's just funny that how we change as we get a little bit older. Anyway, so Jesus... Uh, is telling me, yo, when we get up there on stage, you really need to really get into it. I was like, okay. He's like, hey, I want, like he had put fake hair into his own hair. He's like, I want you to rip this hair out of my head. And then I want you to hit me for real. I'm like, dude, I'm not hitting the 50 year old man for real. Like, We're cool and all. I'm not beating up no dude. Even though 50 is not old, I'm not going to be the guy in the paper tomorrow. <laughs> Like the front page is a Roman legionnaire punching the Jesus character in the chest and he has a heart attack. <laughs> like I will we'll do our best to make the scene because he he was actually an actor. I was kind of just an extra that had volunteered to be in this play. And I, as a fun thing, like I was looking forward to a combat tips. What is this? And uh, but he was an actual actor. He was really good and he wanted to get into it. I was like, I, I don't know how comfortable I feel with this, bro. Like. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can make it, brother. Ooh, pristine plumage, relics, and charms. Okay. Let's see what that thing, let's see what this can do. Good thing is these harpies look quite a bit stronger, which means we should level up a little bit more quickly. Let's see, what does this do? Where does it go? Where does relics go? Not there, apparently. Not there either. So you just use it? I don't, I don't think I understand. Oh, it's on an item. Oh, crap. I just got hit. Move out, move out, move out. Move. Wrong button. <laughs> Forgot that the game doesn't pause. That's what you need to do when you're looking around. Let's kill this crazy harpy crone. Anyway, yeah, Jesus wanted me to beat the crap out of him. And so the whole point of that story was to say I once wore a dress. (laughs) Because as Roman Legionnaire, you look exactly like this dude 
Clemophories or whatever that oh no his name's Mike Shamborn I forgot you get to name your own character in this game but I totally get why men and women might want like I from that day forward I was like I would love to wear a kilt can we make it socially acceptable for you know a mixed race male to wear a kilt I want to do it because this dress they made me wear in the in the beat up Jesus play was amazingly comfortable it, it just was I'm like who would ever wear pants again after this and I, I wish like actually I don't wish like I'm not joking with you all I need you to understand like what I'm saying may be humorous but I'm in no way shape or form like saying it for the sake of humor like I am dead serious I am serious about <laughs> wearing kilts or dresses or whatever is the truth. Hey, 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 leave this dude alone. What are y'all doing? Yeah, I don't want none of this. Easy on this dude, man. Come on, man, these dudes are quite a bit stronger than their contemporaries here. All right, my mouse is like lagging here. What's going on? Essence of Heracles' might. What's up, bro? Thank you. I was in a bit of a scrape there, Alex. Where are you now? Thank the god Hermes you came along. Sweet. Okay, so a lot of these side quests are just like pop-ups. They just kind of happen, which is dope. I, I really, really like that. That you get these side quests that just come out of nowhere, and then, hey, here's 300 XP just for helping this dude out. Which, you know, goes a long way to helping you level up. Which, as you will come to know me, you will learn that leveling up in RPGs is what, why we do what we do. Essence of Heracles might. I don't necessarily want to waste that on, like, can you get it? My problem with these relics is can you undo them and then get them back? <laughs> that's, that's what my biggest fear is. That's what concerns me. Whoa, whoa, easy. Shrine of what? Got him. That's one. Take the money. Hit the archer. Yeah, the archers try to run, too. They're just like uh, the ones in Two Worlds. They will run for the border. Yeah, get this archer, man. Dust him off, please. So he can stop wreaking havoc on our action over here. Bust this dude, man. All right, so we should have enough gear here to where I'm about to get full up on stuff. Let's go kill these birds first before I take the rest of this gear. Looks like these crows are stronger too, which is fine. I don't mind having to quaff a potion. I just don't want to quaff them all day. I always thought the word quaff was weird. You can't hold anymore. All right, can I hold anything anymore? No, nah, not unless it's a one block, which I don't. You have no more room. All right, so what we're going to do here, we're going to drop a portal, which is going to come in mighty handy when we come back. I'm going to drop that portal there, head back to town, sell some gear, and then make things happen. Uh, but I am not going to make you watch me run all the way back to town. I think we've had some fun talking about <laughs> beating up Jesus in the Easter play. Uh, whoa, 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 did I go the wrong way? What did I miss here? Uh, why men should want to wear dresses. Cause, just because they're comfortable, not to make like a fashion statement or some, you know, statement of, you know, gender equality or anything. Just the simple fact that I, ladies, I get it. If there's any ladies watching this and you wear dresses, I don't know why you ever wear pants, ever. I, and maybe it's because, you know, dresses put you in a situation where... You have to consider how you carry yourself in public because if you were to carry yourself like a man, there, there'd be a lot of problems with visibility. But as a dude, you don't care. You want to look up my dress? Fine. Here. <laughs> it's whatever. So I could kind of understand why wearing pants or yoga pants would be a little. And if any of this sounds sexist, believe me, it's, it's unintentional. It's just me being ignorant because <laughs> I don't know any better. I don't know anything. I sit here and I'm talking about intellectual conversation. <laughs> I'm sitting here talking about how I don't know anything. It's actually, that's pretty hilarious. At least to me, it might not be funny to anybody else. 
Hmm, these are very interesting. And I just said I wasn't going to make you guys watch me run back to town, and then that's exactly what I just did. I made you watch me run back to town. It's comedy, man. Anyway, thank you so much, guys and ladies, for watching this particular episode of Cult Classic Neo playing Titan Quest Anniversary Edition. It's been my distinct pleasure. We're going to head back into the wilds, kill some more harpies in the next episode, talk more about why men should wear dresses or at least kilts, uh, and we'll talk about maybe why Star Trek The Next Generation is my favorite show of all time. Either way, like I always say, the whole purpose of Cult Classic Neo, and I do mean this with all my heart, is to have a positive place for us to come and have intellectual and humorous discussions about video games without all this cynicism and negativity and entitlement that we find on the internet so much. I want to kind of critique by creating if we can. Instead of calling out people for doing that type of stuff, let's just make a place where we don't do that. Anyway, till next time, friends, it's been my pleasure. I hope it's been a blessing for you. I'll see you then.